Hello everyone, it's Shri from Rebel Technology and welcome to our new product demo video. So um, today I'm going to show you this new module called Gonies. It's dual channel function generator. So first of all, Gonies means angle in Greek is a very nifty 10 HP dual function generator. What it makes it very unique is a time scalability. So Without further ado, I'm just going to quickly show you what each knob's switches and inputs and outputs do. So let's start from the top knob. Um, so the first knob on the top, these are your attack. And then second one is your release. And then the third one is your envelope shape. So it starts from logarithmic. And when it's in the center, it's linear. And then when it's completely clockwise, it will become exponential. Moving on to the switches and IOs. So the switch changes the mode of the each channel. So when it's on the top, it goes into the cycle, which turns this channel into unipolar LFO. And then you can basically change the speed by changing the attack and the release time. And then you can actually also change the actual shape by morphing the envelope shape. And then when it's in the middle, it becomes a gate mode. So you can feed the gate and then on the bottom, which is your trigger mode. And then on the, on the ports, the one on the very top in the center column, that's your clock input. This is what makes Gonias very unique as a function generator. So this clock input, when you feed a clock or constant trigger, it starts to scale the length of the envelopes. This actually doesn't mean it's going to quantize it. It just only scales it. So, so there's a difference. So it doesn't actually put everything in sync unless you feed the trigger into the trigger inputs um, that is derived from the same master clock. I'm moving on to the um, second and the third rows. So on the edges of each rows, the top one is your trigger input, here and here. And then the bottom one is your envelope output. So here and here, that's your output. So that's your ins and that's your outs. And then the middle four inputs, the top rows, those are your attack length. So you can input the CV into these and then modulate the attack time. And then that goes same for the release time. So you can put input the CV here, it modulates the knob. So now you know what each things do, I'm gonna quickly show you some patching examples and see how it sounds. So before we move on, I'm just going to tell you. So what we're going to do is I've loaded this patch called Added Voice on OWL. It's basically Additive Synth Voice with State Valuable Filter and the VCA. So inputs are left and right inputs. That's your pitch and the scale. And then uh, Control A is your number of your partial. B is uh, it's called discomfort. It actually pitch shifts uh, the each partial slightly off to create nastier sound. That's your filter cut off. That's your Q. And then your expression input, that's your volume input. So first of all, what we're going to do is I'm going to take a trigger out from the Kronos. So that's my clock or trigger out and then I'm going to input it into the trigger in of the first channel and now you can see then I'm going to reduce so you can see so now you can see when there's a trigger there's an envelope created so I'm going to put this so that's my envelope output and then I'm going to put it into the VCA in. And immediately you can hear 
the volume is going up and down. So I'm going to start it again. So I can make it the release shorter or release longer. And then attack longer and release shorter. And then you can hear the subtle difference when you morph the envelopes as well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to utilize both channel and I'm going to quickly demonstrate the clock input to create a timescale functions, which makes the Gonyas very unique amongst the many other envelope generators. So what we're going to do is we're going to split the trigger output. But before I plug this in, um, let's just take the um, envelope out of the second channel and then put it into the um, CV input of the um, control C, which is your filter cut off. So I'm going to close the filter. And then let's hear. And you can hear the filter is opening, closing, but not in relation with the channel one's envelope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to input this. And you can immediately hear the, the filter cutoff sounds a little bit more in sync with the channel one envelope. Um, but as I said earlier in this video, it doesn't necessarily mean it's, it quantizes everything. It sounds synchronized because we're actually sharing the exactly the same trigger or same clock. So if you feed a different time clock, you will get a completely different result. And then, last but not least, uh, let me quickly show you the CV input of the Gonias attack and release. I'm going to take the LFO output of the Chronos second channel and then feed it into the attack of the first channel in Gonias. So I'm going to start the trigger. You're not hearing anything, but as soon as I... Now you can hear the, um, the attack is going slower and quicker. So let me just stop this. So as you can hear, it's a nice, neat little 10 HP module jam packed with really cool functions. So hopefully you guys are as excited as I am and uh, hopefully this video was helpful and decipher what all these functions do. And as usual, let us know what your thoughts are on the comment section. And if you need further help, please let us know. You can leave the comment below as well, or you can just email us. Uh, we're always happy to help. So till next time, happy wiggling. See you later. Bye.